It's now a Saturday morning in the capital, and it's a day 10 of the Russian invasion. Just what is the situation like in the city today? What are you, your neighbours and other city dwellers worried about the most? Hello. Uh, yes, the situation, well, um, actually at night I didn't hear anything because I, uh, I live now in a, um, in a bomb shelter, which is our theatre. And uh, uh, we, uh, the guys made it uh, one of the training rooms into a kitchen. And uh, the room which is the furthest from the window uh, is uh, the room where we sleep. Um, yesterday, when we were uh, going through the streets, there, there were sirens and we heard uh, huge explosions. Uh, five minutes later, we uh, saw that uh, Irpin, which is 20 kilometers away from Kiev, was bombed. Uh, there were a few um, residential buildings that were hit. Um, and uh, they, they are ruined now completely. Um, uh, but uh, as uh, as our military defense uh, ministry says, uh, Kiev uh, Kiev is uh, under defense now, uh, and uh, our uh, our military forces are working well. Mm, yeah. In, in, in terms of food and supplies and so forth, do you have everything that you need? Uh, at the moment, yes. Uh, yesterday I, um, I came back to Kyiv. I left Kyiv uh, on the 26th of February uh, and we were staying not far from, from the city, from the capital. Uh, but uh, it's impossible impossible to be uh, far from here because I, I guess that's that's the idea of uh, the Russian occupiers to hit the uh, power plants, especially the nuclear power plants, to hit uh, to, to to leave cities without electricity, so all the people are gone, uh, all all the people are panic, people panic, and uh, I feel um, and there there. There are a few of us who feel that it's important to stay in the city, to uh, to help somehow, uh, at least to be in a field to give interviews, you know. Um, and uh, um, it's it's important to stay here because otherwise, what else do we defend if it's not people? Has the uh, Ukrainian government been giving uh, civilians advice on what to do in the event that the uh, the Russians enter the city? Of course, uh, but this is this is something um, something we all don't know. You know, um, uh, they they uh, they do uh, give advice a lot. Uh, there there are a few um, channels on social media that uh, it's called ready for everything. Uh, and you can find everything there, uh, like what to take uh, with you if you are gone to the bomb shelter, what to take with you, um, how to make Molotov cocktail, and so on. Uh, but um, I can't say that there is a specific instruction what to do if uh, uh, if the city is occupied. Uh, I don't I don't think that uh, this will happen, even even if uh, it will happen partly. I'm absolutely sure that uh, it will be very nicely fought back. What do you make of the steps that have been taken to date by uh, the West uh, to, to punish Russia and to try and bring this conflict to an end? And what more, in your view, could and should be done? Uh, in my view, um, I, I've lived in Kiev for 13 years, and uh, the first uh, the first thing when I uh, graduated from the university uh, was the uh, that Russia invaded uh, Ukraine uh, in 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 the middle of a revolution. And the government was pro-Russian then, so we didn't want it, and. Um, you know, that, that's what happened. And uh, sorry, I forgot the, the question. I was asking you uh, what your views are on, on the West and its, its sanctions, yeah. its punishments are. 
Yeah, so it's been eight years, and for all the eight years um, of, of this war, um, Mm, the West didn't uh, didn't accept that it's the war actually, and it's the war not just against the uh, Ukrainian territory. It's the war against the whole civilized world. And these sanctions, uh, I'm I'm really happy that this is happening now, but it's uh, it's it's late because people are dead already. A lot of people, and uh, this sh this could have been prevented if this happened earlier. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm glad that this is happening now and that the understanding uh, of how, um, how impossible it is to live when you're cut off of the rest of the world uh, is uh, for Russian people. Because um, they, uh, there are many people who uh, actually believe uh, their uh, propaganda and there is a lot of propaganda. I I was reading that, and it's impossible to read because people uh, people s just deny the facts, uh, the real facts. And uh, I I think now they start they only start understanding, so uh, that's good. But at the same time, people keep dying, and I have no idea how long this is going to last uh, because uh, the bombing doesn't doesn't stop and. Closing the sky would be uh, would be a good step, but as I understand, Stoltenberg yesterday said that it's not going to happen. We will have to uh, use our power uh, to defend the country, and um, I hope I hope that there will be not too many losses. Okay, Tanya Shilepko, that's all we have time for. But thank you very much for sharing your views and your experiences here on France 24. And of course, do stay safe. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.